hello and welcome back once again to another lesson with the GeForce IT Service Academy. Please, this is the lesson 4 of our school management system development training. In our previous lesson, we look at how to set up the student's data table. And in this lesson, we are going to learn how to set up the teacher's data table. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button for all. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family members. Don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section of this video in case you face any challenge. So without wasting much time, let's quickly open the folder that we created for this lesson. And this was what we, we designed in our previous lesson. This was the student details table that we designed in our previous lesson. So before we move to the teacher's detail table, let's assign a hyperlink to the home button here so that we can be able to navigate to the home page of this particular school management system. So let's right click on it and click on hyperlink here like this. Then we select a place in this document. Then you click on home. Then you click on OK. So when we click on this button, it should be able to take us back to the home page of this school management system like this. So we should be able to come back to the home page here whenever we click on the home button. So without wasting much time, let's quickly click on the plus sign here to begin the designing of our teacher's details sheet. So let's let's delete this particular thing here. Let's remove it here. So so let's come back to the plus sign here and then let's rename this. So let's rename it to teachers details table or teachers details. Like this then you hit enter now. Let's right click on that thing and come to the color tab. So we want to give it a color. We want to give the color. So I think this color is good for us. Now let's begin to enter the, the details that will be demanding from the teachers in our various schools. So the first one is the teacher's ID. Then we have the name, the name of the teacher. Then we have date of birth. We need to take the date of birth of the teachers in our school. Then we have the staff ID. Then the next thing that we are going to take is the registered number. So let's try to short uh, these things here so that we can be able to finish this lesson quick. So we have date of first appointment. So DOF date of first appointment like this. Then we have SNIT ID. SNIT ID like this. Then the next thing that we are going to take is the guardian name. We are going to take the guardian name of that particular teacher. Then we are going to take another thing here. But let's let's try to do something about this one here. So we have it like this. Then we have designation like this so the next thing that we are going to take is academic qualification so we have that one too here we have it here nicely so we are going to take professional qualification to professional qualification of the teacher So professional qual, we have it there like that. Then we are going to take the rank of the teacher. So rank like this. Then the next thing that we are going to take is going to be the contact, the contact of the teacher. Then we move to another thing that is going to be the email address. The email address of the teacher, we need the email address of the teacher as well 
then the next thing that we are going to take is going to be the bank name the bank name of the teacher then we are going to take account number the account number of the teacher is also needed like that account number then the next thing that we are going to take is the gross salary the gross salary of the teacher so let's come to this side then we indicate that one too so gross salary of the teacher then the next one is going to be the net salary of the teacher the net salary of the teacher sorry the net salary then after that one the next thing that we are going to take is the hometown of the teacher the hometown of the teacher then the next one is going to be the nest of kin the nest of kin then the next one is going to be the relationship what is the relationship between the teacher and the nest of kin so relationship like that then the contact of the nest of kin so contact of the nest of kin like that so we have it up and running there so we only need to do the necessary formatting the staffs then we have uh, this data table also up and running in our school management system so let's try to drag this one to this side a little bit the date of birth we expand it a little bit staff id we expand it the registered number we try to expand that one to as well then date of first appointment then we come to the snit id here let's expand that one then we go to guardian name we go to guardian name here we try to expand that one to then designation we come to that one to we expand it a little bit then academic qualification academic qualification we expand that one too then professional qualification we expand that one too then we scroll to the other side then we come to rank so let's try to expand the rank to then we come to contact we expand that one to email address so you know how you are supposed to expand that one too then the bank name the bank name so we expand that one to a little bit i think this is okay so account number bank account number let's try to expand this let's try to expand it then gross salary gross salary i think this is okay the net salary this one is also cool then hometown we expand that one to the nest of kin we expand it good so we have something like this so let's try to expand it again nest of kin then we have the relationship the relationship with the teacher then we have the last thing here which is going to be the contact so basically that is that so we have our teachers details table up and running here now let's select all these and give them some nice background color so let's select all and give them some nice background color so you go to the home tab like this then you change the the font style to times new roman like this then we give it bold then we try to increase the font size a little bit so let's try to increase it like this and see so let's give it a nice background color so which color are we going to give to this particular uh table so let's give it this color i think this is cool so let's center everything here so i think we have a nice form i think we have a nice form okay now let's expand this one a little bit the date of first appointment let's expand it a little bit then let's scroll to the other side to and check everything before we move to the next thing so let's try to expand this one to academic qualification then professional qualification 
then we move to contacts good so let's come to the net salary here and try to adjust that one to a little bit so we have this up and running now the next thing that we are going to do is to select the number of teachers that we have in our school the number of teachers that we are developing this school management system for so we have 200 teachers in our school so let's scroll to that side and select 200 let's select 200 so you hold it you stand here you left click and hold then you drag it to the last end please let it match with the heading that we have at the top so the last one that we have here is contact so let's scroll to 200 we have 200 teachers in our school <laughs> hey the teachers are even more than the students so let's see what is going to happen here let's see what is going to happen here okay so we have our 200 here we have our 200 here so let's try to bring it back a little bit let's try to bring this one back a little bit okay like this now let's scroll to the top and give them some nice background color so let's come to the home tab here then we need to do some formatting here anything that we enter into this particular table we need we want them to have this font times new roman so you highlight everything then you give it times new roman then you press enter then do we want those things to be bold let's just maintain them like that then we center everything here let's center everything here okay let's give it the bold then let's give it a background color which background color are we supposed to give to this one let's give it this color and see how it will look like so let's let's see that one is not nice let's select this one and see so after selecting this particular color we need to give them all bodies we need to give them all bodies so what we are going to do is that we are going to select all this so we go to the last one like this then we scroll to the last end good we have it here like this then we go to the home tab let's go to the home tab and give it all bodies so we have our teachers data table here nicely we have the teachers details table here nicely so this is the shortest and the possible way that you can set up the teachers details table without any stress and without any problem now let's do the necessary formatting here so you click on this one here control shift then use the right arrow key then at the same time use the down arrow key we want to hide all this here then we give them a background color that is going to be white background color so we give it a white background color like this just to hide it and make our form look more professional now we need to add some buttons that can help us to navigate to the home page of this school management system so you stand here then you left click and hold you drag it to the down like this I think this is okay then you come to the home tab let's bring these things down let's bring the headings down a little bit so let's come back to this side again let's drag it to the top a little bit good so i think our buttons can have some place there so let's go to the insert tab here let's select a shape we need to select a shape that we can use as our buttons on this particular page so we need the home button and the add button so you, we have it up and running there so let's go to the format section here then let's come to shape effects then we select this particular one here i think this is cool then let's give it a color let's give it a color a shape field is supposed to be ash like this then you right click and select edit test 
so let's name it home like this home then you select everything here let's give it times new roman then you hit enter you give it bold then let's go to the home tab here to uh, change the text color or the font color so let's give it black then let's come to this one let's increase the font size to i think 14 okay so let's take it to 16 good so we have our button here now let's go back to the format again let's come to this one let's select uh let's click on the drop down here then let's select this one i think this one is going to help us so let's click on the drop down button there again then let's uh let's maintain that one let's maintain that one there i think we should maintain that one good so let's come to shape effects here then we select this we are good to go now we need to add another button that is going to be the add button the button that can help us to add details into this particular table we need to add details here the button that can help us to perform that row so control c control v let's copy this one let's copy this button here we need to copy the home button here so that we can use it as one of the buttons here that can help us to add details to the teachers details table here so we edit let's edit it and write add good so let's come to the format here and let's come to shape fill and let's give it green we want to give green color to this particular button here so i think we are done with this one we are done inserting our buttons here so let's add a hyperlink that can help us to navigate the home page of this particular school management system without facing any challenge so when you click on the hyperlink you should click on a place in this document then where do we want to go to home page so you select home page then you click on ok so when we click on this button it should be able to take us back to the home page of this school management system so we have this one too here without any stress and without any challenge so please if you are yet to subscribe to the channel don't forget to do that quickly don't forget to turn on the notification bell the reason why you have to turn on the notification bell is just to help you to receive notifications whenever we upload new videos onto this channel so until then thank you very much for watching this lesson let's meet in our next lesson bye bye